Okay, today we are going to be doing a memory upgrade and hard drive upgrade on this Asus laptop. This is the model GL704G. It comes equipped with a 16 gigabyte memory. We'll be changing it to add one more stick of 16 gig of memory. Pretty simple. When it comes in, you just open the box here. It's covered in a nice little felt fabric. Put that off the side. Also inside the box, you will get a container with some peripherals. You get just the owner's manual, warranty card and such. But this is what you will be looking for. It's a ribbon to hook up your new SSD drive. I'll put that off to the side. Each of these contains the power cords. So we'll put the box off to the side here. Uh, and then we'll take the laptop out of its fabric here. Now I bought this at Best Buy, so the model numbers might change a little bit, but this should work for all of the GL704 models. What we want to do is we'll use this laptop here so we don't scratch it. Or I'm sorry, the fabric here. Place it face down. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws that you'll have to undo. I'm just using a little screwdriver here, so we'll start and undo them all. I do recommend putting the screws in the location that you'll be putting them back in. Now all the screws are the same size with the exception of these two here. These two on the little indented side are a little bit smaller. So you can go ahead and put all the screws off to the side. Okay. With all the screws removed, now we need to remove the back of the panel here. Uh, it does just clip in. You do have to be careful. There is a bar here. So what I recommend is just using a credit card or a guitar pick if you have one and just uh, wedging it in the side here and just kind of working your way around. And just extra careful until you get it popped up enough. There we go. And then just slowly pry it away. Now this light bar does not have any ribbons attached to the back, so you don't have to worry about that. Put that off to the side. <clears throat> and this is what we're gonna be messing with here. We have a, a bay drive for the two and a half inch uh, SSD we'll be putting in, and then one extra memory slot here. Uh, some recommend to disconnect the battery before you do any work here, but 
don't think I will. If you need to disconnect the battery, it's right here. There's a, a metal pin here. You just push the metal pin forward and then uh, you'll take the little clip and pry it up. Uh, the RAM is very simple, very easy to do. I'm adding an additional 16 GB to make it uh, into a dual channel versus single channel. Just put in at a 45 degree angle. And then just push down until you hear it snap. And that is all you need to release. Just pop little pins. This is a Samsung brand 16 gig and it's uh, the 2666 version. It matches what is already existing in the laptop. So we'll put it back in here. Now for the drive, you'll take your package that you received with the cable. And it has the little ribbon and the four screws. So the ribbon will just go into this area here marked HDD. And the drive will sit here in this little bay. So first we need to remove this guy. Uh, you just have four silver screws and it'll just pull right out. Uh, the drive I will be putting in is a two terabyte uh, Samsung 860QVO. Uh, so the tray was sitting in here. This is where we plug it in. So we'll just put the new drive in the tray and then use the provided black screws. And I'll put links at the bottom to the memory that is being used as well as the hard drive that we're adding here. Again, it's a two terabyte Samsung. All right, now that you've got the hard drive in, you can put the ribbon in first or attach it to the hard drive. I like to put it on the, the drive first, so we'll just plug it in. It just lines up these pins and these pins here. Just push it till it clicks. And then this is the part here. It's gonna go inside the HDD here. Now the pin connector has a little black tray here that you need to push down to lock. Otherwise, if you put this in like this now and put the ribbon in, uh, it, it'll slide right out easily. So you can see it'll just pull right out. So what you'll need to do is put the ribbon in until the white line is matched up with the pin connector and this little black thing you'll just need to push it down and it locks it in place so you're nice and steady there and that's it and then you'll just plug the remaining screws in to put the bay down And we'll put the cover back on. And you just push down until it clips everywhere. I like to go opposite corners to get it nice and snug. And again, these front two here with the dented are the shorter ones. So you should have two short ones and nine, nine longer ones. All right.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn the laptop back on. Plug this one in. So this is the provided power supply. Then you just have a charging port on the side here. And this is just a keyboard protector. And you can see now that we have power. I like this laptop, it has this nice little ribbon here. And you have the white keys for the W, A, S, and D. That there. So now if you click on your menu option here, it'll pop up here shortly and you'll see that we have, now we have 31.9 gigs of RAM installed. And if you were to go to your file explorer to this PC, you'll now recognize the extra drive as a D drive. This is a two terabyte and I have one terabyte free. And that's all you'll need to do. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.